So today we're taking a look over a whole lot of English's Bay because she gave everyone a heart attack two days ago on Twitter when she tweeted out, I will be graduating from and right there is where a lot of people stopped reading. They instantly got a heart attack and were scared because of the G word. People like Flipsy were saying not the G word with a worried face. So we say virus said, oh my God, Bay, you almost gave me a freaking heart attack. There was Ita who said surely just didn't give anyone a slight heart attack and it, it did. It gave so many people a heart attack. There are so many more people replying like Nami saying double down and use the white background announcement to scare people even more. Tyler not Taylor said the notification for this tweet was crazy showing off this meme here. Jimmy said you almost got me a heart attack. Another person said the mini heart attack from reading those first few words and another person showed this meme with the the, the I will be graduating in the background. So what was Bay's actual tweet since you know obviously Bay's not graduating it was just a joke and has nothing to do with actually graduating from VTubing. Bay said I will be graduating from making all vlogins material. I am so sorry to have disappointed everyone. So the second anyone inside of the VTuber community sees the word graduating, they immediately think that this person is graduating from their company or retiring from VTubing entirely, and I don't blame them. There's been so many graduations this year, it has been awful. It would have been really weird to see Bay graduate, I'll be completely honest. So many people would have been hurt, I mean, just from looking at the amount of people that got a heart attack and were scared from the first four words of this tweet. But you may be wondering what the further context is to this, because, I mean, why would she tweet something out like this? anyways. Well, she was playing Content Warning with Fauna, Bibu, and Kayla. For those of you that may not know what Content Warning is, it's basically like Lethal Company. It's just another stream game that people are playing. It's really fun. I've tried it out myself great game but the premise of the game is you and your friends are a group of content creators trying to go viral on spooktube all of you go onto the spooky planet while one of you records and holds the camera trying to get a clip to farm for content you need to get a certain amount of views which i think is based off of how many scary things happen during it i'm not exactly too sure what it's based around but that's the premise of the game so they were playing this and this is how that went i hear that did you hear that what I have died too. What was that? I have also oh. died. What was oh, that? Wait, and Kyla is here too? Oh no. Oh no. But Kyla's still alive. She's still alive. But she is, she's in the same place we were, right? Yeah. What was that? Ooh. Why do you sound so happy to see him? John Risk is harmless. He's so funny. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> I can, I can, I can fall off from the. Kyla. Oh, that's the boy. Kyla. Oh. No. Oh. No. 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 Your content was not engaging. No, the world forgot about no. us. Oh no. But it was only a bad dream. Oh no. Wow. It's over. The channel is dead. Gone for good. I don't know I if we're cut out to be job. YouTubers, you guys. I don't know no. if this is Welcome, the welcome to our graduation us. stream, all four of us. <laughs> This is too much. I can't. So yeah, that is what caused Bay to make this tweet that gave so many people who did not know what was going on a heart attack. I will agree with everyone that when I saw this, I immediately got jump scared and thought that she was actually graduating and then I read the rest of the tweet. People need to start reading the rest of the tweet, myself included, because goddamn those first four words, more context is needed. So yeah, moving on to more whole life stuff, we had Ollie's original visual novel Days with Ollie releasing a few days ago. I haven't given the game a try myself, but I do play on streaming it at some point, so stay tuned for that. Ollie has been thanking everyone that has been playing the game for all of the bug reports, and they're looking forward to fixing all of the bugs within the game. So if you want to check it out yourself, I will leave the link down below for you to do so. We also had Mori Calliope tweeting out two more days until the release of my new song. I'm collaborating with an amazing artist this time. They performed with Snoop Dogg and Chris Brown and have appeared on the prestigious Kohaku Uta Gaisen. If you want to know who check out the video so whenever we get more news on this i will of course let you all know and link it down below for you all to check it out let me know who you all think 
Kali is going to be performing with. In other really cool news though, we are going to take a look over at Phase Connect, my favorite coffee company, because they are based as hell and are paying for vendors at Ofkai. Ofkai tweeted out, vendors, Phase Connect's got you covered. If you're vending at Ofkai Gen 3, you'll be refunded your booth or table fee in a couple of weeks. No action required. And they said, we are pleased to announce that in addition to their sponsorship of Ofkai Expo 2024's vendor hall, Phase Connect has generously covered the booth and table cost for all vendors in the hall. We would like to express our sincere gratitude to Phase Connect for their support of Ofkai Expo and our artist and vendors so honestly huge in w for phase connect really really cool to see them doing this they're not only sponsoring it but they are paying vendor cost which is really cool to see them do so if you don't know off kai expo is happening on may 31st through june 2nd if you are going to it please let me know if you are. I have no plans of going myself, though I may change my mind and end up going, but it is like a month away, so I probably won't end up going. Moving on, though, we're going to go ahead and take a look over at Matara because on stream the other day, she mentioned talking with her friend Rosie. This was a friend that she knew inside of Hollywood. A lot of people are thinking it's someone from Niji Sanji. So here is a clip of her talking about that. Oh, yeah, uh, I can't really tell you too much about my vacation uh because i i do have a very close friend from my hollywood days that i talk to a lot but she is a little bit private of a person so even the fact that i'm talking to you about it now i ask for her permission um she's my little rosy friend that's all i, I can say but i traveled a little bit and she traveled a little bit and we met up in a in a location together i went to record at an old studio i used to i used to go to a few times I, it was actually quite busy i saw an old therapist of mine I saw some old friends. I did a lot of work. I that's why that's why I couldn't play with everybody for Mochi's debut because I wasn't on my usual setup. But it was really really good to see her. We had a lot of delicious food. It was just nice. I I miss her dearly. But uh, you know it, it's tough when everybody's so busy with their days and their stuff. We're planning to go on another trip sometime. Um, and uh, again, I don't talk about her very often. I feel like the internet has this weird, I don't blame the internet for this, but I guess if I don't mention somebody, it's like, are they still friends? Do they talk? Do they not? I talk to her quite a lot. We we catch up quite a lot. Obviously, like we don't live close to each other, so it's hard to see each other, but we, we catch up quite a lot and we talk quite a lot. We text each other quite a bit. And uh, yeah, it was just really good to see her. It was really good to see her. And I, I can't, I, I'm sorry, I'm not going to go into big, big, big details because she's pretty private and um i i try to not talk about her too much because i don't want i don't want um i don't want people to like make assumptions or send anything her way you know um but yeah we're just we're planning another trip and uh we want to hang out a little bit more that that's about it that that's that's about all i can tell you it was really nice to see her it was really nice to see her and uh we had a lot of great food and now one more thing i want to look at that is kind of important for vtubers inside of agencies it's that the ftc has banned non-compete agreements for american workers so pretty much what that means if you are someone that works for marvel you cannot not work for dc now or, or something like that so what this means for vtubers is if they are inside of whole alive they cannot not work for Niji Sanji after their contract is up a whole alive. That's what that would mean. But I don't know if that really affects contracts with whole alive and Niji Sanji in companies owned by Japanese companies. I know they have to follow American laws as well when they sign the contract. So I think that's how that's going to work, at least for like the EN uh, members. But I'm not 100% certain. When we get more news on it or if we get someone that actually explains like if this is going to help vtuber agencies i will let you all know but for now that's all for me today guys please let me know what you all think about everything we talked about down below and have yourself a wonderful rest of your day Bye bye